Hi, and welcome to another edition of Travel Geek. I'm Kyle O'Donnell, and today we're going to be talking about what to cook while camping. Mm -hmm. What we think about when we're camping is what uh, scenery we're in, where we're going to be setting our tent, uh, lay of the land, the view, all that other stuff. But really, uh, what it all comes down to is how to survive. I mean, that's what camping is all about. So let's talk about what to eat. The easiest thing to find when you're camping is fish, and so that's what's on the menu today. But I'm going to show you some interesting tricks and really easy fixes for cooking a gourmet meal while you're out in the wilderness. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, of course, is fish. Hopefully you'll catch that while you're fishing. As long as you camp near a water source, you're bound to run into some fish. Catching them is the fun part. That's what father and son do together. That's uh, what boyfriend does alone while his girlfriend does something else. In any case, you come back with the fish, you're good. Second thing you're going to need is to bring an onion. Third thing you need is lemon pepper. It's lovely. You could also bring garlic, uh, other spices, any kind of Italian herbs, and basil. Easy to bring with you, anything. Nice and durable little glass containers. Just don't fall on them. Make sure you bring a small piece of folded tin foil. Just take it out, make sure it's at least a foot and a half to uh, two feet long and fold it up, put it in your pack, bring it with you. Okay, welcome to my Asian kitchen. It's tiny and very, very Asian. What we have here is the fish. Okay, so the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is to cut slits in the fish, like so. What that's going to do uh, is going to save you from all kinds of hassle. You don't actually have to scale the fish. You don't have to cut the head off. You don't have to cut the tail off or the fins or anything like that. Just gut it, which I've done here and make sure that you don't have any of the digestive organs in there. That's not going to work out well for you. But then you're going to want to cut up the onion, like so. You're going to want to just have two layers. Underneath the fish, I have a bed of onions here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put another layer of onions here. Now that's going to do two things. First thing it's going to do is as the juices from the fish seep down into the onion, those juices are going to steam back up into the fish cooking it all the way through, making it nice and robust. That juice is also going to soak into the onions itself, so that's going to be part of the meal when you're done. Okay, so we have our fish cut. Uh, it's, it's laying on the bed of onions. It's on top of our tin foil that we did not forget to bring with us. What we're going to do is we're going to take our lemon pepper. We're going to just douse it like that. Just cover it completely. And then we're going to put the onions on top of the fish and then we're simply going to roll the tin foil over the fish like this. Now that we have it like this, it does not need to be airtight, but what it does need to do is curve up on all sides so that the juices don't fall down. Now, how do we cook fish while camping, you might ask? Okay, so most campfires maintain a heat in the coals of about 200 or so degrees uh, after they've been cooked in the fire for a, a long period of time. What you're going to do is you're going to take those coals out of the fire that your manliness was able to create for you and you put them on a, just a bed of sand or other rocks or something like that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to create a bed and then put your fish in there, and then lay more coals on top of it so it receives heat from all around. What this is going to do is just cook the crap out of this fish. It's going to be nice and tender. It's going to fall right off of the millions of tiny little bones that are obviously going to be in your fish because fish are packed with bones. In this case, what I'm going to be using is my little mini stove. We don't really cook with stoves in Asia, so this is kind of what I'm stuck with. So I'm going to set the um, temperature to about 200 plus degrees, maybe 220, something like that. I like to not spill juices up in my stove, so I'm just going to put it on this little metal plate here, and that's going to cook nicely. Put that in the oven, close her up, and then I'm just going to put it at about one hour. And generally, this will cook in the coals of a campfire in about 45 minutes but you're free to just rake the coals away, check it, cut into it a little bit, see if it's nice and white on the inside, no red, no brown whatsoever. You're gonna want a nice white color in that meat. And most fish you're gonna catch in fresh water and localized you know, water fronts and ocean fronts are gonna be white fish. So you cook those all the way to a clean white color. It's gonna be a little brown near the, the fins. It's gonna be a little brown near like where the organs would be. It's gonna be a little brown uh, near the surface of the outer layer, the skin of the, of the 
potion. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay, so here we are, moment of truth. Uh, about to find out whether it's good. Okay, here we are with our fully cooked fish. It's got a nice, clean, white color here. So it's obviously cooked all the way through. But the smell is absolutely delicious. It's, it's, it just smells like it's gonna be really good. The flesh here falls right off. And here's that brown color I was talking about earlier. And that's gonna be there, it's okay. Uh, it's the inner white that you wanna make sure is there. So any kind of brown inside here, that's what you gotta worry about, especially when you fish for freshwater fish. So that's where the worms come in and stuff like that so at any rate so this looks really good uh, what you're going to want to make sure is that obviously because it's this um, loose all the, all the meat just kind of falls right off the bone you can pretty much just scrape this back and leave that in the tin foil on either side there which will make a great combination with rice if you have the freedom to do that where you're camping the oils and everything are going to be great to keep you uh, hydrated following day Okay, so that's it for this edition of the Travel Geek. Um, hopefully you learned a nice little recipe you can bring with you while you're camping. Uh, it's a tried and true recipe. It's very good. Bring salts and peppers and garlics and lemon peppers and stuff like that. So good luck on your next camping trip and be sure to stop by kaladonna.com slash travel geek. Till next time. Thank you.